hello guys welcome back to the channel um in today's video we're gonna be talking about the galaxy s10 another true classic if you ask me it's been like five years since the s10 was released but i still love this phone it feels so great in the hand and i'm gonna talk about it in this video the thing that fascinates me the most about this phone is the design there is Coronin Gorilla Glass 6 on the front and a glass back as well and yeah I think the glass back is Gorilla Glass 5 not 6 but on the front is Gorilla Glass 6 and there's this premium touch to it and back when it was released even up till now it would feel like you're holding a top flagship device the curved displays thin bezels and camera notch by the right um, the top right corner was something we had never gotten before as at 2019 so safe to say that the Galaxy S10 was a game changer. The new navigation panel came right from this um, S10 series. Many other new changes that I'm going to talk about um, as the video goes on and there is much more to the Galaxy S10 but let me start with the basics. Um, now I can't trade the compactness of this device for anything 6.1 inches you can comfortably operate this with one hand even when you're lying on the bed unlike um, the big dogs we have today specifically the ultras <laughs> we have today which are not just giant but have sharp jarring edges that can be very uncomfortable um, talking about s23 23 ultra no, s23 ultra s22 ultra and even 24 ultra that came out this year um in january the weight also gives it away about one to seven grams or 5.5 ounces so it feels really light in the hand you know nothing really so bogus and heavy just gives you the best experience um, possible um, when you're using a samsung device i think the base models do that for us then the photos taken with these things camera are very decent even with today's standard like there is portrait and um, even ultra wide shots as well the triple camera setup i'll just go ahead and put all the details nitty gritties of the cameras on the screen then videos do you believe that in 2019 there was a phone that could shoot up to 4k at 60 fps on both the rear camera and the selfie camera and to even add a cherry to this cake <laughs> it had hdr10 incredible i'm always excited revisiting these older flagships and also reviewing um, gadgets for you guys so get subscribed so you don't miss out on any of my videos be the first watching my videos whenever they come out yeah so now um better phones with better cameras and video shots have been released over the years but the ones you get with the s10 are not really bad now we want to talk about the processor um that year the variants that had the qualcomm snapdragon 855 processor were shipped to the united states of america and china while the exynos versions went to the rest of the world including europe Exynos phones have been reported to be a little bit less performing and I've gotten to experience this firsthand. Mine is the Exynos but um, even at that things still run seamlessly. I mean just some overheating issues um, from time to time but it's not really noticeable whether you're using Exynos or Snapdragon most of the time and multitasking is possible here and there is split screen mode which i think this was the first time we got split screen on a samsung device that's what makes the s10 an amazing um, device it's really a classic you can keep multiple apps running uh, at once without any impact on the performance and of course one thing that makes this possible apart from the processor is the ram the galaxy s10 has 8 gigs of ram and 128 gigs of internal storage how could I have forgotten to mention about um, the screen-to-body ratio? 
I know I've talked about the design, but <laughs> this screen to body ratio is worthy of mentioning. 88% screen to body ratio. It's just incredible. It's just like we didn't have any bezels, we didn't have any um bottom, much of a bottom space there, bottom bezel, and even at the top as well. It was such a slick phone that we got in 2019. Still maintains that charming nature up to date. And what else? Um, IP68 dust and water resistance. Um, but if you'll be getting a pre owned or refurbished one, maybe from Amazon or Samsung um, official website or any of the vendors, I think this really might be compromised. So, dipping um, your phone into water is not advised. Samsung Galaxy S10 still had the 3.5 mm headphone jack something that was a precious possession to many of us before Samsung took it away from us forcing everyone to go wireless and switch to earbuds I'm not gonna forgive Samsung for that and I think we've long adapted to this anyway and also it was the S10 it was with the S10 that the um, under display uh, ultrasonic fingerprint sensor was introduced and it just makes life so easy i personally don't fancy face unlock uh, because i feel it's compromised and it has its downsides uh, so i always stick to the fingerprint many other great features 15 watts wireless charging and 4.5 watts reverse wireless charging i just love how you can bully iPhone fanboys by telling them that your phone can literally save them if their device has run out of power and the battery life is not that spectacular. You shouldn't expect so much from a 3400 mAh battery but it was everything to us 4 years ago. Today it's not that great. Uh, you can get a decent 6 to 7 hours of screen time anyway. I think 6. Yeah, let's leave it at 6 um without charging but you know you shouldn't really expect much from the battery i mean there are better phones now 4000 mAh, 4500 5000 and even some of the mid-range phones even have up to 6000 mAh of battery capacity so a lot of changes have happened over the years so you might not really fancy the battery of um the s10 is pretty low um, based on my judgment but the s10 was and is still a really great device let me tell you something i'm a medical student and something caught my attention about this phone you can actually measure peripheral capillary oxygen saturation in other words your blood oxygen saturation um though samsung has done away with this feature in their newer flagships it was right there on the Samsung Galaxy S10. I mean, if you open the health app and scroll down uh, to the blood oxygen option and click on it, then click measure, it would ask you to place your finger on the sensor and it measures it for you. Now, these results have proven to not be all that accurate, given that this is not a specialized medical equipment um, like the pulse oximeter itself. But including this on the phone was very thoughtful of them. I would actually want a phone that could help me check my blood oxygen and saturation and probably my BP. <laughs> Let's see how we can work on <laughs> such a device. But I think with the Galaxy Watch, you can actually check um, a lot of things. Um, it's incredible. The S10's praises are inexhaustible. Can we can keep going on and on and on? Um, let's talk about the downsides for a moment because this video won't be complete. To just be so fake of me if I just do um, make a video praising the S10 without telling you guys the downsides. The S10 no longer receives updates, everything stopped at One UI 4.1, which is Android 12, and we are currently on One UI 6. And it's so beautiful so definitely if you'll be getting an s10 you'll miss out on the updates 
um but that doesn't make your experience bad just leaves you behind so you would want to consider that before buying an s10 a surprising you could get one for as low as 250 dollars on amazon because the price has dropped over the years compared to um the price when it was launched in 2019 galaxy s10 e went for 749 dollars and this particular s10 went for 899 dollars um then the s10 plus went for 999 dollars um to make it worse the s10 5g went for a whooping 12.99 us dollars because uh maybe because it was the first time we were getting to see the 5g technology so the hype and everything so now it's normalized so uh you can't just put a 12.99 dollar price tag on the phone simply because it has 5g that's it for the s10 it's still a great device but if you can i would advise you go for um a higher um, flagship um or a higher phone for many obvious reasons but if you're stuck at a 250 budget then it's not going to be a bad choice at all remember my name is praise az here get subscribed get familiar see you in the next video bye